Saving Edward. It was summertime on the island of Sodor. All the engines were working hard carrying goods and passengers. They cheerfully chuffed up and down the lines. All except Edward. Edward was worried. He wheezed as he puffed and steam hissed out of his cylinders. One morning, the fat controller came to the sheds. He had an important job for Edward. A special delivery of fruit and vegetables is coming to the docks today, he told him. I want you to take it to Knapford. Yes, sir, said Edward. But he was worried about his wheeze. It felt worse today. Thomas, you are to go to the docks and shunt Edward's trucks. After that, you can carry on with your usual jobs. Yes, sir, said Thomas eagerly. Thomas and Edward puffed up to the water tower. Edward tried to stop wheezing, but he couldn't. What's the matter? asked Thomas. You don't sound well. I can't seem to get up steam properly, said Edward. But I'll manage. Don't tell anyone, Thomas. Thomas wasn't sure about this. I don't want the fat controller to know, hissed Edward. Thomas could see Edward was worried, so he agreed. He hurried off to shunt Edward's trucks. Edward followed slowly to the docks. Edward was very worried. What if he was too weak to pull his train? He would be of no use to the railway. He wouldn't be useful at all. Edward shuddered at the thought. Must keep going, must keep going, he wheezed fearfully. At the docks, Thomas had shunted Edward's trucks into place for him. Soon Edward was coupled up and ready to go. Go on, Edward, you can do it, called Thomas encouragingly. Edward puffed as hard as he could, but the train hardly moved at all. I'm sorry, Thomas, Edward wheezed miserably. I'm not a really useful engine anymore. The fat controller will have to send me for scrap. Thomas was very upset. He wanted to help Edward. I'll do my other jobs first, he said. Then I'll pull the train for you. Edward watched Thomas puff away. He wasn't sure if it was right to let Thomas do his job. Edward felt very worried. Thomas needed to do all his jobs as quickly as possible so that he had time to pull Edward's train. Hurry up! Hurry up! He told the troublesome trucks. What for? What for? They snapped. For Edward, puffed Thomas, and he biffed them crossly. Edward waited sadly by his train. He hoped Thomas would come back soon. When Thomas finished all his jobs, he puffed back to collect Edward's train. Edward was very pleased to see him. Don't worry, Edward, puffed Thomas. I'll have your job done in no time. You go back to Tidmouth and I will meet you there later. Thank you, Thomas, wheezed Edward. And Thomas pulled away with a long line of trucks. Thomas was tired. He'd been working all day, and Edward's train was very heavy. But he was determined not to let Edward down. The fat controller was talking to Gordon as Thomas puffed in. Thomas, this train is late, he said crossly. And why are you pulling it? Where is Edward? Thomas didn't want to get Edward into trouble. He had to think of an excuse. Edward took on the wrong sort of coal, sir. 
the wrong sort of coal? Boom the fat controller. What nonsense, Thomas. I'll find out what Edward has to say about this later. The fat controller was very cross. He gave Thomas another job to do. Yes, sir, said Thomas. Gordon left Knapford and steamed through the countryside. And then he found Edward having a rest. What's all this about the wrong sort of coal? huffed Gordon. Edward looked puzzled. Gordon told Edward all about Thomas and the Fat Controller. Edward felt very bad. He wanted to put things right. He decided he must go and see the Fat Controller straight away. Edward hissed and wheezed his way to the station. His fire felt feeble. His wheels felt weak, but he battled on. At last, Edward puffed into the station. He found the Fat Controller. It's all my fault, sir, he said sadly. I asked Thomas not to tell you I couldn't work. I was afraid of going for scrap. I'm very sorry. I should have talked to you this morning. Yes, said the Fat Controller. You should always tell me if you have a problem. You are a loyal, hard-working and really useful engine. I will send you to the fitter's yard straight away. Edward was very relieved. Thomas was very tired from his extra work, but they both agreed, even when it's hard, it's always best to tell the truth. Thank <laughs> you.